So best believe and understand. You too close. If whatever you planning ends up hurting my brother in the end, there is nobody on earth that can save you from me. I eat punks like you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm tired of your messy queens coming in here messing with my family. Either you can get in line, or you can be removed. It's your choice, bitch. So you pepper yo, the pig looking ass nigga? Hey, yo, all is good. Yo, all is good, man. People, it's your boy here, Wesley from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place in the World Wide Web where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on all social medias, Twitter and Instagram, Wes the Critic and A Connection TV. Like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe because it's all free to do. Now, this is going to be a video that contains a couple of things, right? Because I don't feel like any one of them deserve their own particular video. So to save time and to save your time, I'm definitely gonna involve the topics in one video. I wanna start off with Jonathan Majors had an update on his situation. Is he innocent? I don't know if that's what this necessarily means, but let's go through it. So apparently the situation has an update, right? You know, Jonathan Majors has been accused of assault and was arrested based on those accusations. Allegedly, his girlfriend was slapped and strangled and had, you know, physical signs of like abuse on her body. And so it's all the man's fault and let's arrest him and let's get him charged. Well, he's been charged. The DA still wanted to charge him, even though the lawyer was saying that they had evidence to prove his innocence. But it is now come out on this Thursday, March 30th, text messages from said girlfriend. Now, I don't know if this necessarily means that he's innocent, but we'll just go with it, right? So here we go. He's saying, did you leave the keys? Goodbye, blank. And I'm guessing that it's blanked out because he may have said his name, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. The text message reads, please let me know you're okay when you get this. They assured me that you won't be charged. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. I'm so angry that they did. And I'm sorry you're in this position. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told you, I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. I only just got out of the hospital. Just call me when you're out. I love you. They just called again to check on me and I reiterated how this was not an attack and they do not have my blessing on any charges being placed. I read the paper they gave me about strangulation and said point blank, this did not occur and should be removed immediately. The judge is definitely going to be told this. She has ensured this to me. I know you have the best team and there's nothing to worry about. I just want you to know that I'm doing all I can do on my end. I also said to the judge to know that the origin of the call was to do with me collapsing and passing out and your worry as my partner due to our communication prior. Out of care, she promised all will be relayed. So again, I read this text message for like the fourth time now and all this text message really says is that it was her fault for trying to grab the phone, but that doesn't make sense to me. And I love Jonathan Major, so I'm not trying to be like a Debbie Downer on him, but I don't know. Maybe y'all can tell me where this proves his innocence. You know, she's saying that she wasn't strangled. She's saying that, you know, it's not his fault, but how did she get those marks on her if there wasn't a fight? And just because she grabs the phone doesn't mean that a fight needs to ensue. So I'm confused with that aspect of things. And then where she says um, that she passed out, where is it? The origin of the call was to do with me collapsing and passing out and he was worried for her as a partner, which is why the cops were called. But why is she passing out and then she collapsing to the point where she has strangulation marks on her and bruises? bruises? I don't know, this cousin, I don't know. 
it, it's still like grayed out for me, but I just hope that something is released, like the video footage that showcases him not doing anything wrong. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? How do you feel? Do you believe that this proves his innocence? You let me know. Either way, I don't want Jonathan Majors to come to, to have to deal with this. I mean, he was riding a high, you know, and everybody loved him. And to now have this come out, like, I, in my mind, I'm, I'm like, why did he call the cops? Like, <laughs> I just don't understand that. Like, calling the cops versus calling the ambulance, I don't... <laughs> I'm so confused. I do not understand why he called the cops. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, and I don't get it because he's a black man dealing with a white woman in a car. And you're calling the cops for what? <laughs> you think they're going to believe you? I'm so confused. I'm so, I'm like, if he was a white man, I'm probably sure they probably wouldn't have arrested him. And this would have been like resolved on the, on the spot. <laughs> But he's a black man, a black well-known man with money. You think New York is not going to want to be paid? What, well, like, I don't, like, you think these cops are not going to want to fill their quarter with your butt? Like, I'm so confused. I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, and again, some of y'all may be listening to this, like, Wesley, you call the cops if something's wrong? No, black people don't call the cops if something's wrong, especially not when a white person is involved in the scenario. What are we talking about here? Like, he's not, he wasn't black in the woods of unpopulated territory. He's been black in America for a very long time. I'm not sure why he felt compelled to come. Maybe he was drunk. Maybe that's why they were driving around in a car because they were both, you know, under the influence. Maybe, I don't know. And that, like, impaired his judgment, and he decided that the cops would be the great way to go because she collapsed. Like, what? <laughs> I don't know. And then if she collapsed with marks on her body, like, why, why am I calling the cops? I don't know. I'm not calling the cops. Like, you know, I don't know about y'all, but I just know about me. And when you get into situations, maybe this is just my black mind, but when you get into situations, you just... Either you figure out a way for the situation not to become a situation or you just don't involve the cops. Like, I just don't understand that because they're not going to be in your favor ever, ever, you know, not unless you know the cop who knows the cop who knows the cop. And they're like, hey, I'm about to go to Wesley's because he called about something. We'll take care of him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe you just get the right cop at the right particular time out of the 900 incidents that you've gone through that week. I don't know, but I just don't see that being a thing like uh, who calls the cops and they're black. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I just, you know, because no matter what happens now moving forward, he's still going to be that guy. He's still going to be that guy that got the two people or whoever it was on Twitter to come against him. He's still going to be that guy that's considered like someone who beats on their girlfriend. He's still going to be that guy. But you know what? I wonder if this makes him more cool to be that guy or to be the gay guy that's farting over, um, you know. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. You know, when Michael B. Jordan and Chadwick did that, uh, Chadwick, when Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors did that picture and they were called out for loving on each other in public, that was a thing. But he didn't lose the army at, and he didn't, like, he not in jeopardy of the MCU just because he, you know, did a picture with Michael B. Jordan. Now, he's dating his white woman, he's driving around in his car, and then the cops are called, and now he's arrested. So, like, what are we talking about? And she thinks that, y'all think this text message is going to do something? I mean, I hope this text message does do something. But he he has this stain out there now. It's a stain. It's just, it's just a stain and it just sucks. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I didn't think this video was going to be that long. To be honest, I thought it was going to be like five minutes. But I feel bad for Jonathan Majors. And another thing. Why, if you are getting paid millions of dollars to be in a movie. And I'm specifically talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe at this point. Why in, in like a regular, and I'm not saying he's not thinking like this, but why not in a regular mind, if you know that you've been elevated or catapult, catapulted to the high heavens of stardom, you know your life is under a magnifying, a microscope, you know, a magnifying glass. Why are you dealing with people that aren't like the it person? 
Why are you dealing with people that have problems like collapsing and, and going to the hospital or having needing to get a checkup mentally? At least that's what this text is telling me, so I don't know. Like, why are you involving yourself with these randoms or these people like that aren't, and, and, and I feel like at this point, you should know who's like there for you. Like you should know who's there for you truly, you should. Because you can't talk to everybody. You can't befriend everybody. You can't text everybody. You can't DM everybody if you're at this level of superstardom. And so if you're getting paid millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars, like why are you, I don't know. And you know, and, and I think about people all in this in this world, like you know, in the Hollywood world, like, like Jeremy Renner, unfortunately had like a bad accident, you know, because he tried to save his nephew, uh, with, and, you know, up in the mountains and all of that stuff. Like, I don't know, like, how do we get there? Like, how do we get to these moments where our lives are in jeopardy? Like, you know, outside of driving a regular car, not a sports, you know, vehicle or, a foreign car speeding in the roads like some of these people do, or you go to a regular party and you don't drink. Maybe have two drinks and then you take your ass home or, or you don't do skydiving or like jumping off of the tallest point in the world like a Will Smith. Like, I don't know, like, I just, maybe because I've been broke <laughs> all of my life, and I've not been born into this. You know, a lot of pe these people, like, they know each other. And so they, like, they, like, they, they know each other. So this is, like, regular life to them. So they've always been doing, like, crazy stunts or, like, being in the limelight is, like, their life. So, you know, someone like me, I think about it, I'm like, I would never. I, why would you? Like, you're getting paid millions and millions of dollars to be in a film. Like, why would you partake in regular humane things? Like, that doesn't make sense. Because, like, once something comes out, you're done. And then in my mind, I'm thinking that's why you're getting paid the big bucks. Because your life becomes not yours anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying? And maybe y'all are like, Wes, you just expect them not to live. You don't have to live that way to enjoy your life. Like, a lot of these people, you, I think y'all are not understanding what I'm saying. Like, in terms of, like, all of the cases that come out in the limelight. Like, a lot of these people don't have to do these things that they're wanting to do. Like, look at Britney Spears. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm about to go on a tangent. Anyways, leave your comments below, and I'll come back on my other video to talk about the other things that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I, at the end of the day, I hope that Jonathan Majors proves his innocence to everyone that he needs to prove his innocence to so that he can continue to be successful. That's it. Deuces.